Hello, legal professionals and aspiring attorneys. Welcome to your source for insights into the world of law. Today, we're diving into a critical aspect of legal practice, malpractice insurance for solo practitioners. If you're a solo attorney or considering venturing into solo practice, this video is tailored just for you. Let's explore the ins and outs of legal malpractice insurance costs and considerations. Before we delve into the costs, let's establish the foundation. What is legal malpractice insurance, and why is it a cornerstone for attorneys, especially those in solo practice? Legal malpractice insurance, often referred to as professional liability insurance for attorneys, is a type of coverage designed to protect legal professionals from claims of negligence, errors, or omissions in the delivery of legal services. It serves as a safety net, providing financial protection and legal defense in the event of a malpractice claim. Solo practitioners, like any legal professionals, face inherent risks in their practice. Why is legal malpractice insurance particularly crucial for those going solo, and what risks does it mitigate? Solo practitioners are often a one-person show, handling everything from client consultations to case management. The risk of errors or oversights is inherent in the demanding nature of solo practice. Legal malpractice insurance provides a layer of protection, ensuring that solo attorneys have financial and legal support if a malpractice claim arises. Now, let's tackle the heart of the matter, the costs of legal malpractice insurance for solo practitioners. What factors influence these costs, and how can solo attorneys navigate them? The cost of legal malpractice insurance varies based on several factors. These include the attorney's practice area, location, years of experience, claims history, coverage limits, and deductible choices. Solo practitioners should carefully consider these factors to determine the most suitable coverage for their unique circumstances. The type of law a solo practitioner practices can significantly impact insurance costs. How does the practice area influence the rates, and what areas tend to have higher or lower premiums? Certain practice areas are considered higher risk and may result in higher premiums. For example, areas such as personal injury or real estate law may have higher malpractice insurance costs due to the nature of the cases and potential financial stakes. Conversely, lower risk areas like estate planning may have more affordable premiums. Location is another crucial factor. Why does the geographical location of a solo practitioner's practice impact legal malpractice insurance costs, and how can attorneys navigate this aspect? Insurance costs can vary based on the legal environment of the location. Areas with a higher frequency of malpractice claims or higher litigation costs may result in higher premiums. Solo practitioners should be aware of the legal landscape in their region and explore insurance options accordingly. Experience and claims history play a pivotal role in determining legal malpractice insurance costs. How does the number of years in practice and past claims influence premiums for solo practitioners? Insurers often consider the experience level of an attorney when determining premiums. Newer solo practitioners may face higher costs initially. Additionally, a clean claims history with no past malpractice claims can positively impact premiums while a history of claims may result in higher costs. Solo practitioners must carefully navigate coverage limits and deductibles. What role do these choices play in legal malpractice insurance costs, and how can attorneys strike the right balance? Coverage limits and deductibles are key considerations. Higher coverage limits provide more extensive protection but may come with higher premiums. Similarly, choosing a higher deductible can reduce premiums but requires the attorney to cover more of the initial costs in the event of a claim. Solo practitioners should assess their risk tolerance and budget to find the right balance. As solo practitioners navigate legal malpractice insurance costs, the ability to tailor coverage becomes paramount. How can solo attorneys customize their insurance to meet their specific needs and budget? Customizing coverage involves a thorough assessment of the solo practitioner's unique risks and preferences. This may include adjusting coverage limits, selecting specific endorsements relevant to the practice area, and exploring options for additional coverages that align with the attorney's risk profile. In addition to navigating factors that influence costs, solo practitioners can take proactive steps to mitigate risks. 
How can attorneys manage their practices to potentially reduce legal malpractice insurance costs? Implementing effective risk management strategies is key. This includes maintaining thorough client communication, staying informed about changes in the law, using engagement letters, and regularly reviewing and updating processes. By demonstrating a commitment to risk mitigation, solo practitioners may positively influence their insurance costs. As with any insurance, shopping around is crucial for solo practitioners seeking the best legal malpractice coverage. How can attorneys efficiently compare options to find the most suitable and cost-effective coverage? Comparison shopping involves obtaining quotes from multiple insurers, carefully reviewing policy terms, and assessing the reputation and financial stability of the insurance providers. Solo practitioners should not only focus on costs, but also prioritize coverage that aligns with their practice and risk management needs. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of legal malpractice insurance costs for solo practitioners. Whether you're a seasoned solo attorney or considering striking out on your own, understanding the intricacies of insurance is essential. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights. Until next time, this is signing off from. Stay informed, stay protected, and may your legal journey be both successful and secure.